It's not, not everybody understands, not every doctor understands that these can, things can have quite an impact on your life. Um, cause the main thing when you take antidepressants is to improve your life. Um, and if they've got negative effects on your mental, mental state, on your ability to function that make it worse, what's the point? My god, it's sunny. You know what, I'll probably go back inside. I don't want to, um... Actually, I could, I could go for a little walk, couldn't I? I'm gonna go for a walk. Walk and talk. Gonna head outside to do my vlog video. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. It's a log on a video. So yeah, here we go. Um, hopefully the audio isn't too distorted by the wind. I thought I'd take a walk in nature while I'm talking about today's topic, everybody. I forgot to say actually, welcome to my video and today we are going to be talking to you, obviously. What am I talking about? <laughs> today we're going to be talking about antidepressants and my experience with antidepressants. So basically if you've seen any of my other videos, it's no lie that um, I've had quite a tough uh, childhood, quite a tough teenager um, period when I was younger. Um, I've suffered from uh, depression for about, God, maybe like eight years. Maybe eight years is a bit of a stretch. Six or seven years. Um, I'd say my, my actual diagnosis was moderate depression. And in some cases, when it was really bad, it, it tippled up to, se to severe. As well as the depression, I also had problems with um, severe anxiety as well. Obviously, first give me some psychological treatment and then try some drugs out on me which is the uh which did help i've got to say um so first i want to talk about the first drug that i tried um, which was prozac and um, i can't remember the chemical the normal name for it ah what's the name of it anyway prozac you can probably google it if you don't know the um the company name for it um, prozac is basically a well it is it's an ssri which is a serotonin reuptake inhibitor and it works on basically up giving you a boost of serotonin in your brain which is responsible for mood in a lot of cases and um, the basis of it is, is elevating your mood so that you don't have those depressive symptoms and you don't, oh God, it's really windy here I'm sorry you don't have all those issues with suicide and self-harm which I did have when I was initially when I took the the antidepressants um, I wasn't in a very like strange time of life it's hormonal when you're a teenager and my mood fluctuated quite quite a lot on a, a very large scale like I got from being completely okay at school talking to my friends and stuff to uh, very large like bouts of depression self-harm and um, suicidal thoughts stuff like that when I was at home and um, you could say it may almost kind of fluctuate from night and day so I was on that Prozac for I think maybe three or four years. Um, you only really notice the effects, the effects of them coming off the uh, the antidepressant. You only really notice the the negatives of it and the, the positive staying on after you've actually you know come off them. Um, one of the things that I found was as well as as well as the enhancement of the, the, the negative emotions and the uh, Obviously, if I felt bad, it would probably be a lot easier for me to get suicidal thoughts and, and issues with my mood when I was off the Prozac. But it also um, it also elevated my positive moods as well, which is one of the one of the reasons why I made this video today is because I wanted to just uh, brainstorm some ideas about the um, the negatives and the positives of you know antidepressants and stuff because it's not all take this you're gonna feel better. It's not like Alice in Wonderland, feel better instantly, uh, look down the looking glass and you'll be all right, kind of deal with antidepressants. It's, um, it's a double-edged double -edged sword in some cases. So it's not uncommon for people to have these kind of feelings about antidepressants. They kind of, um, there's a thing in the, in the community of people who take them where, I don't, I don't know why I said community, there's, a, there's no um, Prozac community going on. Well, I meant there might be, I don't know. Some people might be really, about me really really obsessed with antidepressants I don't know there's some weird stuff going on in the internet but yeah um, it can leave you sort of feeling like a zombie it suppresses your negative emotions and it suppresses your 
positive emotions as well. So, um, one of one of my um, conclusions from the whole uh, antidepressant Prozac stuff like that is that although it can be a very good measure of in reducing those negative emotions and good in cases where someone's depression is that bad that they consider it ending their life or they've already tried which had had, had happened in my case um, which is obviously not not the best in that case scenario and um, but also I find that well it is it is true that positive emotions and the you know the tie, the tie of positive emotions to your actions um, is a very good motivator. For example, if you take antidepressants, you get used to the positive emotions not being too strong, not being much of a motivator. I'm going out of breath now. I haven't been. I've been lazing about on the sofa for about a week and a half. So walking is getting me tired now. What's going on? So yeah, these positive emotions can be a really big motivator and they can be dampened down which can reduce your you want to you know uh, do stuff um, and a lot of the issues with depression is that it can affect your um, noisy car it can affect your mood not mood what am I talking about it can affect your energy and it can affect your positive outlook in life you may settle for lower paying jobs when you're um, depressed you may have um, less confidence, less ability to form relationships, friendships. Um, you, you, you're more likely to settle for jobs that you don't like as much and not go for the stuff that you really care about and the stuff that will enrich your life and make you feel better about yourself, um, which is quite a, a big importance. Um, being a kid on antidepressants, obviously, it's going to set a baseline for most of your life it's going to be very hard to come back from and um, you have an idea of what positive emotions feel like and they'll be dampened down compared to everybody else's so it's going to be very hard to empathize with the level of emotion that you're expected to feel about things and people are going to question why you're not so excited about something or why you're not so positive about something because it makes it harder it makes it harder to do that because it's not it's not as good to feel good when you're on Prozac. <laughs> I've only made a lap around the, the place um, near my dad's house and um, there's a lot of old grannies in the, in the gardens giving me some weird looks. Like, why is he talking to his mobile? It's just such a, such a wide angle. So yeah, the positive, positive dampening of antidepressants is seen a lot in people. Um, there was, there's a, there's quite a good psychologist guy who's been in the American media for quite a long time called Jordan Peterson. Is, is that a tribunal or something? Uh, not a tribunal. I'm using that word flippantly. I don't really know what it means. Um, he's got, he's been to court and stuff and he's had some um, issues with feminists and stuff because you know how transgender community he has and um, accepted pronouns and stuff. Um, but apart from that, he's very good. He's a very good psychologist. He talks a lot about issues to do with depression. Um, for example, one of the things that he was talking about was how our central nervous systems are very similar to lobsters. So antidepressants actually work on lobsters, which is a very strange thing. Um, but apart from that silly gimmick, he um, also, not silly, but apart from that funny, funny fact, um, he also uh, mentioned that antidepressants may not may not be effective obviously he's only one psychologist and there's a whole host of information that says otherwise but although depressants can have an uplifting effect and it can ward off suicide it does not necessarily make you feel good and make you feel not depressed and if you're if you're depressed and you've got everything else in your life sorted out it can be very very good you know you could have all everything sorted out which in your life, relationships, job, money, whatever, you could be comfortable but have those depressive effects that is um, commonly associated with um, uh, depressing and uh, low serotonin in your brain. So you could be have everything sorted out but you could be depressed. And th th those kind of situations could be really good for the use of uh, depressants, antidepressants, which was what he was saying quite a lot. And um, 
in some cases where, when you don't have all that sorted out and you don't have all the um, the family, the friends, the job, the, the, the confidence, the uh, maturity, and they can't help, like, they don't help very much in a, in a lot of cases. And they can, um, obviously from what I was saying before, they can dampen down your positive experiences, um, which is a, definitely something I've found. So I've talked a little bit about uh, Prozac and my, my experience with, with depression symptoms and the side effects of Prozac and depressants, uh, antidepressants are the side effects of um, you know, anorgasmia and appetite stuff and all those kind of stuff. I'm talking about the actual mental effects to do with your depression. Um, so it's worth taking that into note if you're an adult um, having a look for your, for your kid maybe they're suffering with depression it might be worth taking this all on board and mentioning it to your doctor um, and like that. obviously I'm not a trained medical medical professional so I'm just just uh, giving you my experience with depression hopefully it will give you a bit more information about what it, what it will be like um, so you don't want to turn your kids into zombies you don't want to turn yourself into a zombie if if you can help it one thing also to mention is that Depressant doses can vary very, very widely depending on the person and also the type of depressant as well. So if you're very high energy and um, energy is, uh, is bad maybe, you maybe you've got ADHD or something, you might have better, better times with one medication. Um, if you're quite relaxed, you don't really like doing much, don't, not much motivation, you might be better with a depressant which is more um, energy based. Not going to dampen your uh, energy down and your sleep and make you sleep too much, and, which is which brings me on to my next tablet that I've tried, which is um, metrazapine. Metrazapine isn't an SSRI. It's um, it's to do with uh, I believe it's mostly to do with things like NA, SSR or something like that. Uh, don't, don't quote me on that. Actually, forget that. I don't want to embarrass myself. I can't really remember. Um, Basically, metrazapine is a drug which is also a sedative as well. So, um, this, this, basically, this whole video is talking about the, the the effects of depressants that are not, you know, well, well documented, um, and they're not well, they're not they're not entwined with the mental health aspects of depressants, which is, you know, arguably the most important side effect. And um, when you've got low motivation and low energy and you're trying to get your life back on check, some of these effects can have a, a large impact on your ability to function. I found particularly with metrazapine um, that it has quite a big sedative effect. So uh, sedative effect, it makes you feel drowsy and sleepy. When you first go onto these tablets, um, the effects can be immediately noticed. You take them at night, it knocks you out, it helps with insomnia, like loads, it's really good um, if, you, if you take them on the regular. Um, but especially if you're a student and you have quite a variable sleep period, um, variable time to wake up for lectures, it can be quite difficult to do all that kind of stuff. And when you, the thing is with this tablet is when you take it, the levels of it build up in your system and it can get very, um, let's turn around there, it can get at very high levels and it can make you very drowsy during the day as well and it can make you very really 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 difficult to wake up in the morning even more than having severe depression in my case um, where you just can't move in the morning or have severe anxiety and it totally triples that it just makes it so difficult um, up until the point where I was at one point I was waking up at about 3 p.m. and going to sleep at about 4 a.m. which is obviously not very good for you um, it's a good job that you know my my job allowed for that, and I could adjust my sleeping periods and my work periods to that. Cause, you know, it was open all through the night, so I could just work. Um, but yeah, that that was one of a really debilitating side effect for me. Obviously, for some people, you might have the routine. It might be a lot easier for you to wake up. Um, but I found myself three or four hours after waking up from these tablets ridiculously drowsy and I couldn't do anything and the uh, the lack of ability to get the energy to do stuff to wake up at a reasonable time 
and it really took a big toll on my self-esteem as well and my confidence in myself which was um, quite a big importance in uh, recovering from depression another thing was the appetite gain as well obviously this medication would be great for someone with anorexia or someone who struggles with eating nausea you know obviously not nausea sorry any kind of you know thing to do with that and um, with not eating enough but with me this particularly the um the effects of the uh, some of the appetite stimulation was also quite a big problem for me uh basically what what it does is it, it just scales up your appetite by about 400 free 500 calories um the the peak of the the appetite increase um is after you take the tablet so if you're prone to um binge eating and uh late night snacking like i am it can it can exacerbate that quite a lot and it can make it a big a big thing to be able to overcome um which uh you know it's not it's not particularly the best and also if you're struggling with your confidence issues and you already have a significant amount of weight on or you've got a very uh, fragile ego um, if you're a gym goer if you're trying to lose weight trying to look good and stuff um, taking this tablet can make it significantly harder to diet if you're an athlete it can harder to make you make you weight can hard, make it harder to feel good about yourself which is another aspect of mental health which is a side effect which is not really like highlighted enough in these type of things um, and that's my experience with metrazapine I was on the max dose well not the max dose but pretty high dose of 30 milligrams every day which I have voluntarily on my own um, which I do not recommend unless you've you know a lot about medications and you know how to scale yourself back um, which I reduced my my dose to about a quarter so I took 15 every two days and that seemed to give me quite a boost on the days that I took it in terms of serotonin and it allowed me to um, note, also note, notice the effects when I was on it the sedative effects and also um, get the energy I needed on some days to wake up in the morning and feel good about myself and feel like I can set my routine at sleep and then wake up the next day maybe a bit harder because of the tablet but I could still do it because I had my sleep in from the previous night I wasn't in this spiral of um, going later later and later into the night um, which happened a lot when I was in Thailand um, so that's that's the two tablets that I've tried I've tried other tablets like anxiety anti-anxiety tablets um, that's a whole different ballpark benzodiazepines, uh, visa blockers, I've tried tried a lot of that stuff um, very much trial and error and some of them were very debilitating as well so maybe that's for a different video um, I hope you found this, uh, this interesting if you're thinking about taking antidepressants or you just want a bit of uh, empathy in terms of that to get a bit of uh, you know a bit of understanding with some of the effects because not not everybody understands not every doctor understands that these can things can have quite an impact on your life um, cause the main thing when you take antidepressants is to improve your life um, and if they've got negative effects on your mental mental state on your ability to function that make it worse what's the point so in conclusion um, antidepressants great thing for a lot of people some people not so much second thing antidepressants can have as well as the side effects physically it can have effects on your mental ability to function and it can have effects on other arbitrary things like confidence and ability to regulate and stuff and if you take yourself in quite high esteem and you have quite a big ego like myself um, having these effects can be quite hard on you and quite hard for you to deal with and accept and accept for other people and tell your doctors so it can be, have quite a bit of a, a big effect if you don't try and mitigate it um, obviously if you talk to professionals and you have depression you should consult them always about this kind of stuff don't take my advice as gold um, this is my experience with it it may differ person to person antidepressants have a very good um, level of effectiveness in most people um, so don't dismiss that fact they are definitely a very reasonable form of dealing with this kind of thing
you need to make sure that you, you highlight to your doctors how much of a problem your depression may be. Um, a lot of the cases they may be re quite reluctant to put you onto them. You need to be very proactive in getting in your appointments on a regular basis in order to make sure that they give you proper treatment and to make sure that you question a lot of what they say to make sure that you're getting the correct treatment for yourself. Um, for example, reading up on different medications, suggesting different medications. A lot of doctors, although they are very expertise and they've got a lot of um, knowledge on this kind of stuff, they don't always have the, the right answers and they don't always have all the knowledge that, that's needed, um, especially to do with new medications that might work. Um, so that's, that's quite a big second point. Um, number three is, uh, I just wanted to mention this, uh, this last thing that I've been um, researching um, quite a bit recently. Um, this um, um, different different type of drug called uh, Bupirion. Bupirion. It's bas basically a drug that, uh, when it, taken in conjunction with something about or just on its own, can have both an antidepressant effects, and it can also work on increasing the amount of positive positivity that you can get, the amount of pleasure that you can get from life. Um, it sounds a bit strange when you say it like that, but basically it also it's also a dopamine reuptake inhibitor, which is dopamine is these, these pleasurable sensations that you get from the environment, music, anything, any sort of loving interaction, any sort of happy thing that happens in your life. Uh, dopamine. Your motivation is very, very much measured by dopamine. Dopamine is molecule of survival so it gets you to do what you want to do food eating you know sugar obviously not great in this society uh, sex all those kind of things dopamine regulated all that pleasure is, is regulated by dopamine so it's a quite an important chemical and if you're very deficient in that um, your pos your your motivation to do stuff can be quite lacking so I with I recommend you checking that out I'm not recommending you take it, I recommend you having a look at it because it's, um, it's one of the possibilities that you could mention to your doctor um, if you're struggling in quite a hard bit. And also, my channel is very, very small at the moment, so if you're having any problems with depression, any problems with anxiety, any problems with medication, you want a bit of a, um, help, a bit of a second person's view, send me a comment, put me a comment in the, the um, comment in the comment section and um, tell me about it. Or if you, if you don't want to disclose it on the, the comment section, you can always DM me um, or, join, or join my page and DM me um, on Facebook. You can always you know, do it on Instagram if you really feel like you want to DM on Instagram. And I think maybe there is also a YouTube messaging thing now as well. There's loads of stuff like that. I mean, if, if you can't do any of that stuff and you, you just have an email, then I'll, I'll give you my email. You can, you can send me a message if you want to talk to me about it. Um, also, if you if you, if it's if it's something that you really want to talk quite a lot about, I'm very willing to do some video calls and stuff. If you really need to talk about stuff, because um, obviously I don't want you doing anything stupid, or I want I want to help people, obviously, and I can do that now that I've got such a, um, a low followers. Well. Um, I might change when I get, get a bit more um, sorted out in terms of subscribers and likes and popularity and whatever. All those kind of stuff on YouTube, um, but for now, um, I'm here for you guys, and I, I really do respect every every subscriber that I have. Anybody who watches my videos, you don't have to comment. Just watching my videos is just such a great thing for me, and I'm I'm really happy to uh, to be able to put these out and help people. Um, so that's all, that's what it's all about for me. Um, I'm not just saying that because I want to sound cool or nice, or I really do. Um, so if you like the video, make sure to give it a like because it shows me that you like it. Because if you don't like it or don't dislike it, I don't know if you like it or dislike it. Um, you might just be really on the... You, you've got to swing one way or the other. So just, just click it if you want. Um, <laughs> and also if you want to subscribe to see more of my content, which I'm going to be putting out more on the regular. As you can see, it's a bit less quality. It's a bit less audio quality as well. It's on my iPad for now because I want to get some videos out and it's a bit more convenient for me to do it on the iPad. So I hope that's okay. Missing the intro, missing the outro, but you know, it's um, still getting some videos out. 
Um, so make sure to click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and click the little notification bell um, so that you get notified when my new videos come out which is not very um, regular so you want to you want to get to grips with uh, when videos are coming out <laughs> if you want to so thank you very very much I would put my hands together in thanks but I'll just do it with one hand um, thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next video hopefully <laughs>